is. This stuff is um, a bit unpredictable. Why on earth would you ever want to call someone edgewise? Just with that, tell me, do you know what this story is going to be about? Can you guys relate to this? I have this friend, met this lady. I love her so much. She's the kindest person ever, but she just can't shut up. All right, guys, we're going to start with Modern Masters Primer. We're going to get it on there, but you can see that I'm like tap, tap, tapping it. I don't want any brush strokes. To me, conversations are supposed to go one way. I mean, two ways. So I talk, you talk, I talk, you talk. It's kind of like a, like, it's like verbal volleyball, right? Every now and then you meet someone who just talks nonstop. We are going to put an entire coat on like this and then we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna do another one. So coat number two, after 30 minutes, we're gonna apply it in the same fashion. So I'm chilling with Carrie and we're in Colorado. As you can guess, it's my last night there and we go out to the Blue Moose and we meet these two lovely ladies. They're both so nice, so cool, super nice people. This is coat number two of the primer. I'm not gonna tell you their names, but I am gonna tell you that one of them now will forever be called edgewise. As in, I can't get a word in edgewise. Okay, let's mix up our copper. We have it mixed up really, really well. And we're gonna apply it with a sea sponge. We're gonna squish, squish, squish. The only thing we don't want is like um, drag lines. You don't want any of those. So just keep tapping it. This is when things are gonna get a little bit time management, okay? I tore up my, the rest of my sponge into three different ones. We're gonna use one for the rust activator. We're gonna use one for the blue activator and we're gonna use the other one for the iron paint, okay? So it's kind of, ah, the second coat of your copper needs to stay wet. It needs to be activated when it's wet. A lot of times I spray it. Most of the time, okay, all the time <laughs> I spray it. Today I'm gonna try to put the activator in a cup and I'm gonna put my sea sponge in the cup and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna, okay? Here we go. Wish me luck. Certain that one of you, or maybe all of you, have ran into somebody like this in your life. They're a good person, right? But they just can't stop. Stay with me and I have no doubt. Now that I have my cups of activators filled, I'm gonna go ahead and start applying my copper paint. Me and Carrie go out, we meet these nice ladies, they go back to Carrie's house with us so we can have some more cocktails, we're having fun, we're sitting in front of the fire, you know, and this one won't stop. This is my last night in Colorado, my last night to spend time with Carrie. And you know what? I lost it. And I said, dude, stop. Like you have to stop. You are talking non-stop. And I can't take it anymore. I, I, I can't. Take it. We're applying our copper paint in a squish squish with motion. Now remember, we put our activator in the cup. So I'm gonna take that sea sponge and I'm gonna squish it and pounce it and squish it and pounce it. Let's get it on there. So finally, I just say, dude, stop. Like you have talked 
all night long. This is not cool. You have to stop. Like, I am sorry, but you have to. She looks at me like devastated. I feel like everybody's looking at me and Carrie's looking at me like everybody's like, what? I feel horrible. I feel horrible. So I get up and I like run to the bathroom and I'm in the bathroom and I'm like, I hurt her feelings. What have I done? But I can't take it anymore. I just, I can't. All right, so you can see how it is changing. It's been uh, about 10 minutes, I guess, since I did the top. So this is why I'm gonna kind of do it in sections. Here we go, let's do it. All right, so we're applying our second coat of copper to the entire body. We're gonna mix the iron in there. You're gonna see me grab the sponges that have the iron and the blue activators on there. And you're gonna see me eventually use the squirt bottle. I gotta go back to what I like. You know, I don't know what else to say. After sitting in the bathroom for a few minutes, I get myself together, I grip it, and I'm like, okay, it's time to go out and face the music. Please God, I hope she's not crying. I, oh God, I feel bad. So I go back out, and the first thing she does is grab my hand, and she says, please sit down, and I wanna apologize. I am so sorry, I don't ever wanna be that person. And I feel better. I feel better, she's okay. Everything's okay, right? All right, so here I am adding the iron paint onto my wet second coat of copper. a painting that makes you proud I feel good she apologized like okay maybe this is gonna go different this is great she's okay she's not mad at me nobody is mad at me I don't want anybody to be mad at me we are applying the iron paint and then going back and forth with the sea sponge with the iron activator on it, okay? So you gotta go back and forth, back and forth. The most important thing with this whole deal is you just need it to stay wet. So your second coat of copper and your iron, they need to stay wet. So just don't let it dry up and you're gonna be all good. Well, let me tell you, I spent the next hour listening to her apologize. Are you kidding me? I think there's a lot of lessons to be learned from this story. One is to, yeah, look at social cues, have verbal volleyball. Conversations should go both ways. They should go both ways. They should not be one-sided, okay? The next thing is that if somebody does start speaking, stop. Slow your roll. Do not speak over them. Everybody has a voice. If you are the kind of person who just wants to hear yourself talk, you got to think about that too. Think about what's going on because you should be conversing back and forth. That's what conversing is, right? <laughs> this stuff is um, a bit unpredictable. And yeah, very fun. Wear a mask. It is absolutely not VOC free. But it's kind of worth it. Like, look. See those little veins in there? I mean, it's just, it's just fun. So, here's what we have right now, and we will check it out when it's all dry. So, edgewise, I love her. She's a wonderful, wonderful person. She will always have 
a place in my heart. She's the first person I ever stood up to, for lack of a better word. And you know what? It, you know, I just let her go. She apologized for hours. And <laughs> that's just the way it is. It's time to finish this up. We're gonna use a sealer called Permaco. It comes with the Modern Masters. It's a sealer that they recommend. You don't have to use this sealer, but I have found that it does make the colors more vibrant, and that's what I'm going for. So that's it. It's all done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wanted to show you one more super cool thing. So this guy has a hidden drawer. Check out this. That one right there is a drawer and you push it all the way in. It locks in place so you can't, you don't know it's there. You have to open here and you have to push up on this little flat thing. And then you have to play with it. And then the drawer comes out. So how cool is that? Thank you guys for watching. This is Melanie, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm so sorry I never stay. Overreact and just walk away.